Oh, look, you got a little bikini thing with it. She's too little, babe. Matching. She's too little. They might do swaps. Yeah. I doubt we're the. I don't know if I'll get anything good for you. <laughs> <laughs> As I've said before, if Kimmy Russ Adventures don't know, we'll make it up. We'll make it up. Okay. So guys, we just met these people travelling around Australia from uh, Tassie. 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 Kimmy Russie Adventures Moto Vloggers. Yes. And they are, they are the best people we've met on the trip so far. So, mind you, we've, we've, been actually... here, we've been here for one minute. Go to the five seat. They gave yeah. us a drink because I, I asked the wives locked us out of our house. So <laughs> they gave us a drink. And... Is there any reason why you've been locked out? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Because but mind you, you that doesn't mean a lot. Drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Okay, guys, so here we are. Have you got your mic on, babe? Uh, yeah, I've got it on. Have you given me a look? You said if you look down there, you'll leave me. Uh, yeah, no, I, I said at that end. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, so we're in the beautiful Streaky Bay. And when I say beautiful, you'll realise in a minute why it is beautiful. Well, no, it doesn't look too good here at the moment, but... Just looking at us. What's that there? A butcher? Yeah. You've had to buy me a piece yep. of meat and cook it for two. As I said, we'll get some sizzle steak. Yeah. Oh. A bit okay. of cider, you know. Oh, I like cider. Cook it in cider. <laughs> I do. But this is, our, our motel complex is, you can't see it at the moment. I'll show you when I come back, okay? So this is part of Streaky Bay, one of the side streets. So this is Streaky Bay. Which way do you want to go first, babe? Down here. Okay. And I'm shopping. She's shopping. Oh, fucking God. Oh, look, you got a little bikini thing with it. She's too little, babe. Matching. She's too little. Matching. She's too little, sweetie. You no. sure? Yeah, positive. I could squeeze in. No, you won't. See, now others do it. We're going to go and have a little bit of a look down here at the bay. And we've got to work out grog, and we've got to work liquor legends right there, so that's fine. We've got that sorted right sorted. away. Sorted. <laughs> See? Liquor legends, right there. Look That's... at this, guys. Wait till you see this, guys. Look. Look. Look down over there. Whoops. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Cool. Let's have, have a look at it. It's pretty. Isn't it pretty? Just for anyone that needs to know, there's a dump point, so you can dump your baggage off. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, had a bit might, of excess baggage this trip. They might do swaps. Yeah, I doubt we the. I don't know if I'll get anything good for you. <laughs> <laughs> if I've got to take the same, I've got a fucking problem, uh, haven't I? Yep. Hey, when I want to swap, I want to swap up, not them. <laughs> trade up. Yeah, I want trade up, babe. Oh, look at these guys. Just, just have a look. This is Streaky Bay. Isn't that pretty? There we go, guys. Look. We don't know why it's called Streaky Bay. We haven't researched it, have we, babe? No. But it does look very nice, doesn't it? Probably because it looks streaky. Like with the. Where does it look streaky? Two different. Uh, Let's just colors. stand there. Go for a swim. No. I There's didn't no fun in you. I didn't bring me bathers. Oh, okay. I'm not voluntarily getting in the water for something to bite me. Well, it's nothing's going to bite you, babe. Everything in Australia wants to kill you. Yeah, no, that is true. Yeah. Everything in Australia does want to kill you. Right, we'll go out on this wharf and we'll have a little look-see out there, I'm see going... if they're catching anything. Yeah, and you can ask them this time. Okay. Is... Kim was just just annoying that fisherman down there. I asked now, him one question. Yeah. Now, a man goes fishing. For peace, tranquility, silence, it's golden. And she fucking rocks up. Well, what do you reckon that bloke lost? I didn't get much out of him. He lost his peace, his <laughs> tranquility, his golden moment. 
Hey. I don't know how much. What, babe? It's his own loss. He could have got a chance to talk. Look, there's someone else talking to him now. Yeah. He's So we're out near the end of the wharf now, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Babe's going for a swim in the swimming Babe's enclosure. Babe's not going in there. <laughs> Why isn't babe going in there? <laughs> I've had my shower for What's today. What's wrong with you, babe? What's down here? Well, that's white. Look, it looks fairly good. There's a ladder and everything for you to get out. You go in there. It I can't. Nice. I didn't bring my babies. You did bring your You've babies. You've got undies. <laughs> oh, I've got undies. <laughs> Women would love to see that, wouldn't they? Well, do it. What's that place over there, babe? We'll go over there and have a look. Okay. See? Don't get too excited. We've got to do this first. Okay. Now, they didn't have any fish out there at all, did they, sweetie? No. Very disappointing. Just a lot of wind. Just a lot of wind out there. Yeah. But I'll tell you, Streaky Bay is a pretty little place, isn't it? Yep. It's worth coming there to have a look at. We haven't rode around or anywhere yet, really, have we? No, we're going to go out there and see what's out there to the right. We're going to go over there and see yep. what that is over there, yes. We'll have a little bit of an end, won't we, sweetie? Yeah. I think it might be, be because the fish are called streaky fish or something. I don't know. As I've said before, <laughs> if Kimmy Russ Adventures don't know, we'll make it up. We'll make it up. Okay. Maybe it's stripy trumpet and they're calling them streaky. Yeah, that's it. I don't think so, babe. Sounds feasible, though. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask this man up here. No, 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 we'll just... <laughs> no, we can't, we've got no we reception. Can't. We have to make it up, sorry. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, this is a nice little place, this place. It is, very pretty. Very, very pretty indeed, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Whose name did you give? We're going to go here. To... You can't see it now, but this is the hotel. Of course, we may have had a stubby and we may not have had a stubby. Russ Maybe is getting more talk. Is than Kim him. is Kim red in the face? Had a stubby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. So we're gonna grab some grog from this bottle shop, then we're gonna go back, and we might go for a ride, mightn't we? Yep. Hey, what do you reckon? We'll go for a ride out the road. Yeah, and we'll have a look around. And of course, we couldn't go past the Streaky Bay Hotel Motel. It is such a nice hotel. This one. We had a drink or two here in the mid-afternoon and then went back for a meal later on that night and it was a great meal. Okay, so we're going to go and have a little bit of an explore around Streaky Bay. Hey, so we'll hang left here at the Maney. What's this white Toyota? He might not see us. No, he didn't. Oh, it's beautiful down there. Look at it, guys. Yep. Just a little town, but it's a nice little town. Apparently, old Rusty's getting the blowjob tonight because it's so nice. <laughs> that is not the deal. <laughs> oh, what was the uh, deal? All of a sudden, it's changed. <laughs> Oh, jeez. No. She, she winched out on me going, oh, I, wanted, I wanted to stay there actually, guys, but I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed. You didn't book it. It looks nice there, and I, can, and I, I could watch the cars go past the main street and everything. Stop it. You can get out on the side of the road and do that. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Take your chair out on the side of the road. Yeah. Guess I'm going to have to, aren't I? That's about as good as it gets for me. Yep. Hospital Drive, yes. Well, we don't you really want to go there just yet. You might need that later. Slow down. There's gravel on the right there. Oh, fuck, I'm freaking out. Clearwater oh, so Cove good. Estate, babe. We're going down the estate. Oh, well, it sounds posh. Not much of an estate. They haven't built a real lot here. It's an upcoming estate, I oh, reckon. Okay. You're like a freaking tour guide. It's just like you know where you're going. I don't know where I'm going. How can you get lost in a town like this? Probably going to go up here and have a beautiful view now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. So you're a tour guide. Okay, so... Okay. The rest is going to park just here and go for a little walk and have a little look-see. 
Look at this, you should have brought your bike down here and put it right down there by the water and we could take a nice photo. Do you want to? No, it's your bike. It's your bike, babe. It's all your gear. It's all my gear. She says that when she doesn't want to do something, guys. She'll get into Oh, it's a little bit rough, that. Oh, she's a bit rough. Get down here if you want to take a photo of that boat and get down near the boat. <laughs> Something nice with all the seaweed. Yeah. Giz look. Giz look see. Just a load of paper. And why is it called Streaky Bay? Because in 1802, Captain Matthew Flinders rediscovered and named Streaky Bay whilst examining the South Australia coast in the ship The Investigator. He named it because of the streaks in the water across the bay, caused by the reflection of light and seaweed. Oh, so we're going to go around the harbour for a look, aren't we, babe? Yep. It is a beautiful area, beautiful bay. It's a big bay, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big bay. I don't know how deep it is. Don't know. You won't go for a swim. No, but I mean, they wouldn't bring big ships in here, like big boats. This is an RV park up here. Yeah. Nice be beach access in that, isn't it? Nice little yeah. beach, that one. Nice and shallow there for the kids to have a splash around in. Yep. Old Streaky Bay sort of spread out a bit, isn't it? Subdivisions it and that. It is actually a fair size area. Yeah with houses and that. Look at this guy, look at this, isn't it nice? I get a bit repetitive, don't I, when I see beautiful things? Do you reckon? Well, you don't with me. What, repetitive? No, you're you the one that's repetitive. You're obviously not looking at a beautiful thing when you're looking at me, then. Oh, I'm looking at something gorgeous. But, but just take a look out there, babe. It's an absolute pearler of a day. Pearler. We're going right out to the point out here. But he's only 80 kilometres, just saying. Just saying, I'm having fun. Well, <laughs> <tell them laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. So this is where we ended up, right here. We ended up doing a little clip here while we're on holidays, back in October, to let people know what we were doing and what was going to be upcoming on YouTube. This here is that clip. G'day guys, you haven't seen us for a while, have you on YouTube? <laughs> How are you? We are out and about. And we're doing lots of filming, aren't we, babe? Yep. <laughs> Just a quick update, what we're doing, guys, we're touring South Australia, in Australia at the moment, and we're over here for five weeks. We're halfway through, been doing lots of filming, which you guys will see uh, probably late November, December it will start. So, if you want to follow us in the meantime, hook onto Facebook, onto Kimmy Russ Whitehouse, Kimmy Russ Adventures, onto Facebook, and you can follow where we're going, where we've been. We're doing little updates all the time on there. Yep. But no real footage coming out until later on. But just, I'll just show you our beautiful surroundings. There's the babies, of course, we're over here on our bikes. But take a look at this, will you? It is absolutely beautiful where we are today, I can tell you. Mr. Percival's down there somewhere, isn't he, babe? Yep. So, if they want to follow us, where do they go? They go to Facebook. Yes, Kimmy, under what? Kimmy Russ Whitehouse. Yes, or Kimmy, or Kimmy Russ, Russ Adventures Russ. will probably get it up if you do a search for it. Okay then. So we're about to leave our little touch of paradise in Streaky Bay. Oh, okay, so we're going to go for that bakery just for a little bite to eat. Get a good coffee because Kim Wilson well, is not good on the coffee making. Hey, uh, you babe. Hey. I've done it once, I think. Jeez, I'll be lucky, you know, she's done it once. I probably took over halfway through because it was too much for her. Well, that's what I reckon. 
I'd give up cooking on this expedition, so... <laughs> if you watched the video last night, I did tell you that, didn't I, guys? I wasn't lying, see? She just admitted it. But on this expedition, she reckons it was 21 years ago she gave up cooking when I come along. Goodbye, Streaky Bay, on a beautiful morning. Today at Streaky Bay, it's going to be 29 degrees with <laughs> a bit of wind, isn't it? Yes. No, it's a true story. <laughs> Long stretches of road here, we can just pass at our leisure, can't we? <laughs> Don't even have to take it off the cruise control to do it. <laughs> I did, because I didn't know if we were going to go past the Wave. Uh, look, it all boils down to how much faith you got in your bike. Oh, I've got a lot of faith in my bike. It's the bloody tour guide in front I'm worried about. I'm on the fucking tour guide. We are currently travelling from Streaky Bay to Elliston. We're going to fuel up there. And point of call after that, well, who knows? We'll think about it when we get there, won't we? We will. We're thinking cow, but hoping for whaler, so we'll see well, how we go. Maybe, yes. It is going to come into rain probably the next couple of days, so we've sort of got to try and work our way through that. The further we go today, the less we do in the rain. Yeah, more than likely. Oh, the old Harley's just scared all them emus. Look at them all. Yeah, They're all gone, Yeah, scared them, didn't we, babe? Yeah. Ooh, they're running, aren't they? Yeah, hope you guys could see that. They're hurting. We're coming up to Lock in um, South Australia, aren't we, babe? Yep. I don't know what's here. Not a real lot by looks of it. Meant to be fuel. Fuel, library, toilet, caravans. We'll just go up here. We've got to go down that way. That way uh -huh. there? Yeah. Yep. There's a cafe, bakery. Might even grab a cold drink, get off the bikes for a few minutes maybe. Uh, what, what's this bloke doing? Hay bales, no? Bags of something. Turn here, Toilets are there to the left. Lock is a town in the centre of the Air Peninsula in South Australia. It is central to Air Peninsula's main grain storage hub as it is surrounded by a predominantly farming community with emphasis on cereal crop production. The town has a hotel, caravan park, motel, supermarket, post office and police station. Still making our way across the Air Peninsula, heading back Adelaide Bay, of course. Eventually, we've been seeing all sorts of native wildlife. <laughs> some we don't recognise. You seen something dragging some dead carcass off into the bushes? Didn't know what it was, did you? Yeah, I wanted Kim to hop off and go in there and find out, but she wouldn't. Ah. You know, if you don't know what it is, I ain't going in there. It's fair call, I guess. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> None. <laughs> I would have liked to. I would have liked to film you coming out screaming like a wild banshee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Cleve. Cleve is located 529 kilometres west of Adelaide, via Port Augusta. Cleve is located in a sheep and wheat grown area and as such is a small town providing service for the surrounding farmers. The district prior to clearance by Europeans was characterised by dense mallee scrub which comprised white mallee, red mallee, narrow lead red mallee and broom bush. It was a dry land which if carefully used could produce good reliable crops of wheat and was ideal sheep country. Okay then guys, look at them rolling hills there. We've just left Cleve, we fueled up there again, didn't we? Yep. And we've made up our mind, we're going on to Wyala for the night, probably more than likely. Um, and we'll decide then 
where we're going after that. Have a look at the weather for tomorrow and Thursday, which isn't looking real good, but anyway, we'll see when we vote. Yep. We don't care if we gotta get somewhere nice and spend a couple of nights there, do we vote? Yeah, that's Who right. Who gives a bugger? Yep. We'll um, use Wyala as a stepping stone for tomorrow, I reckon. Yeah. Look at that for a road, guys. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do what? They've got some um, good roads over this side of South Australia. Well, have. Most of them are straight. When yeah. you a corner, you're like, yay, a corner! Yeah, not brilliant for a bike, but still nice roads. Sit yeah. back, relax, on and then go to your next destination. Nice. Yep. And at the moment, it's in the sunshine. Yes, it is. It is actually a beautiful day today. A little bit of breeze here, but um, it's still nothing to worry about, is it? Okay, so we're just coming back into Wyala. Got a Westlands Hotel Motel. Have they? Yep. We are on the outskirts of Wyala here. Okay, so we'll just go up here, okay? Yep. Fairly big one. The bottle, bottle shop, shop there. What have we got over here though that we can eat, sweetie? That's the Westland Shopping Centre. You want to try here or do you want to go somewhere else? Oh, we can try here. It'll determine whether we're going somewhere else or not if they say no. How's everyone today? We're pretty good, aren't we, mate? Mate? Yep. Mate? We're really good, actually. Yeah, like, what if we take your glasses off? You won't recognise me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a great day today. We've come up from Streaky Bay up through West End and White Allen tonight. In South Australia. So we've come 400, a bit over 400 kilometres actually on it today. We've done really good today actually. In the fuck wildlife on the bloody road today was unbelievable. Snakes galore, red, red belly black snakes on there. They were, it was confirmed by one of the locals. Yes, and a heap of them. Dead ones and mainly alive ones though. Yeah. Uh, stumpy, stumpies everywhere and fucking emus in the paddock everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is they heard the 107 coming. They were off like this and they looked back soon the 103 and they just started wandering <laughs> back to the feet. Didn't they, babe? Just the end, yeah. back yeah. back. Yeah. Once the 107 went past, they weren't scared no more, were they? No. Uh, yes. uh, yes, yes, yes. Kind of agree with you. Yeah. Anyway, this is our motel for the night in the bay. Yeah. It's not bad. This this is a, a very nice complex actually. It's only look <laughs> tropical oasis again, babe. Look palm trees. That's a beautiful look, that in it, guys, eh? And we're parked under cover. The babies are under cover. Up around the corner there, all these units go. Plus, over the road, there's a whole... What's the name of the motel complex? West End, is it? West... Westlands. Westlands complex. And they've got a heap over the road as well at the back of the hotel motel. Number 374 is Uzzo. Right, so this here is... The love nest. Look at this. It's pretty big, isn't it? Big, big size room. Telly, yeah, all my cons, as I always say. Now, look, I oh know you've seen this t shirt on me before, but if you watch all our videos, when they go on YouTube, you'll see that we did our washing and everything, won't you, babe? That there. Tim's got a bag there. Oh, babe! Are you carrying it down the street with you now? What's going on? <laughs> what? Oh dear. Oh dear, sweetie. Oh. What did you need? Oh, then was it? You shouldn't be taking that down the street with you. Oh, things she carries in her bag. Right, we've got the fridge. We've got a bloody microwave as usual. We've got a nice shower, yeah, tinted glass. We've got the shiver. It's, it's not a bad size unit, this, is it? Come on, guys, get on board. Get on board, it's not bad, is it, hey? Well, there's one thing I've How heard. much do we pay for this $60 room? Yes, 
Yeah, no, 140 actually. There's one thing I see wrong with what? this stuff in my handbag. What? Screwdriver? Why would I need a screwdriver? That's in case your toys break down and you can get in there and then you can eat them. No, don't show them that, babe. We're on Facebook, babe. We're on Facebook. Don't show them everything all at once, babe. Jesus Christ, sweet. What are you looking at your finger for? Oh, God. Hey, um, guys, we've got to go. We're heading off tomorrow. Like I said, it's going to come in. It's going to come in rain a little bit in the boat. We think we're going to get out of here okay tomorrow. It's true. Oh, she's fucking funny, funny, isn't she? She's bloody funny, isn't she, eh? <laughs> I would say other things. It's going to come in rain probably tomorrow night, so we should get out of here to our next destination, unscathed with water, shouldn't we, Bo? Yeah. 29 degrees today, about 24 tomorrow, um, and we're heading down up around... Not stopping at Port Augusta, we've got to go through Port Augusta. There was a COVID case here weeks and weeks ago now, so we're not going to stop there, hot spot. And we're going to make our way down the little dog leg of South Australia, heading back across, aren't we? Don't Not tomorrow though. You're, you'll have to watch tomorrow's video to find out where we end up tomorrow. But we're going to head down Port Turton way, it's, okay? It's either Point or Port, because that's all, all that it's known down that way. That's true, that's very true. But I'll tell you what. What would say tell that? Beautiful, South Australia, beautiful. Get on board, guys! Hi, right, mate. Okay. Say goodbye to him. Hi, guys, say goodbye. I was song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you. Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better